Yeah. Okay, good. Um, hopefully you can hear me right. That's just a microphone. Um, right, real quick. Um, I've been selective a bit in the past about what I've shown and what I ain't shown, and um, I'm not really one to care what people think. If they if they say something sensible, I listen to it and think, yeah, how can we change? But you do get a lot of people on YouTube without realising and say stuff that is negative and it's below what I think. Yeah, my frequency is higher. I'm I'm only searching to get new stuff that will work all the time. So, on one of my clips, I've shown one video clip before, I think, of the baseball bat, and I think it was like four years ago. And you get a lot of people going, they've never seen anything before and think, oh, that's pretty cool. And then you get other people going, oh, that's not how they do it when we, when we do it. And what, what matters is the same works when it don't, okay? So within our syllabus, we've got four or five different baseball bat clips, uh, sorry, uh, techniques. So the one that I would have shown would have been, you can't always know how it's going to be in a real fight, yeah? If someone suddenly goes to hit you and you're in the natural sign of protection like that, this is one baseball bat technique from that, okay? So he goes to do it like that, I step right in, so go, go real fast, okay? Boom, boom, I come across with a hit, I'd come right over, so I'm trapping him, I'd hand and I'd pull out, okay? So what we're basically saying is, if he was going to do it again now, if he's going to hit me with another bat, I could come in straight forward, yeah? You'll see ones where as they go to do it, people grab their head and pull them down. You'll see ones where they're just, um, they're going to leave an arm down and go across, now, basically, I would say the best one you can do is getting yourself very close because if he knows his range to hit me on the head, that's how far away we need, he needs to be to hit me. So you've got to ask yourself, right, when, I, when I've learned what that range is, I either need to be in or all the way out, okay? So at this point, what's really going to help me is being really far in if I decide I have to take. Everything we do with self-defense should be about trying to get away. What I'm saying here is, I've decided, fuck it, I've got to go for it, sorry, sorry. Right. I've decided I've got to go for it, okay? So he goes to hit me, boom, I go all the way in. Now, realistically, this is not going to hurt me as much as that is. So no part of that on me is, is good. Now, we practice with softer bats, so we can go quite fast, so we can learn, you know, getting in and out with our range quicker. So if you're getting caught with this, you have to remind yourself, if I took that in real life, I'd be in a lot of trouble. So what really matters is getting in really close. So if I was in here, if I was in here, or I was in here, it doesn't really matter as long as I'm in. Then you have to know a technique from there. Because can you always 100% say, yes, I'm exactly going to be at that position when this guy hits me over back? No, the last second may have gone and you saw something went like that. But your natural instinct said, let's get in. So now where do we go? From here, this is simple. I'm going to trap and go across. And then I'm going to take the underneath of the bat and I'm going to push down. And this becomes a wrist lock now, okay? Here. So as I turn that, see what happens to him? And now I just turn out and now I've got the bat. Now, we're always talking about self-defense respect, right? Don't hit the guy around the head because you're probably going to kill him. If you still think he's a threat, pretend to hit the head and then you can hit him in the neck. Okay? So super slow. I've come in, I've just protected and I've stayed tight. Then I've come across and I've grabbed. Yeah? Now I'm holding here and I'm holding here and I'm pushing down and turning him and coming away. Now realistically, is that uh, a Krav Maga um, technique? Probably not. No? But then, like I always say with Fred McGarr, Amy Lixenfeld was always moving forward and always redesigning things, yeah? So, no problem to go here, no problem to go here, but is it wrong to say that that would be wrong if we was close? No, of course it ain't. It's what works. It's the same as me hitting him on the chin. Does it matter if I hit him with an uppercut or a hook or a straight? Or does it matter that I hit him really hard on the chin? So, when we go back to the defence, I'll teach five, four or five different ways of doing our thing, right? And like I say, normally if I could, I'd probably try and get an arm up. If he was going low, I would do one of our other ones. But on this particular one, what we're saying is, the main thing you need to understand is getting close. So the guy goes to hit, getting close. If that's all he's hit me, I'm great. Then what we practice is our fluidity. As soon as I hit him, boom, 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 and I can go. Now what you do, you do a drill with each other very slow. So he does a, he does a defense, boom, he comes through, he takes, he's out shows it to me and I go back, boom, boom, and now I'm not even going to, as soon as I get away now he has to be ready because I'm going to go to hit him. Boom, he has to come in quicker, he has to keep a nice tight guard. So I'm in, boom, 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 in, boom, 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 boom. Don't wait, don't do no full swings, go straight in. Good, now we're starting to get realistically the right range. Does that make sense? So now I'll say, I'm going to do it my partner. If I'm doing it and he accidentally catches me on the leg or, the, or I've come in here and I'm not far enough in, catch me there. Boom. I'm knowing. I don't have to kill each other. I know that's not working. So now I've got to think, right, I've got to get in, I've got to get in tight. 
if you're practicing that one. If you're practicing this one, then you've got to think, right, I don't want to be too straight so he comes straight through and crushes me. I'm going to be more fortified, over a narrow control. Yeah, and then you can look at taking the bat from here or going here. There's loads of different ways. Take it from here into the nuts. There's a million different ways of doing things, right? So what we're trying to say is, let's have, I'd rather have one. But if we're saying we're always going to be ready like that, it's probably a little bit unrealistic. I may not be looking when this guy wants to hit me with the bat. It may naturally happen that as he goes to hit me, I go like that. So if I'm there, I can just move in. Rather than going from there to another move. I may not have the time, it's look around. Boom, I'm getting tight. Now this is it, this is the control part, okay? so I wrap it down and I'm going to hit him but only once I've got him because if you hit him and you ain't got him he'll move away. So I'm moving away, boom, now as I come back down I hold the back and I'm pushing down with his hand and we're stepping back out. So one more time, super slow, I come in, boom, I hit and I get over, I've got control of this guy, holding at the back, don't care where the end of the bat is we hold there and hold that hand if you can. And as I push down, that puts the wrist lock on. Yeah, does that make sense? Are you right with it? Thanks. Um, check out all the other clips if you want to see anything more. See you later.